Hello there everybody, you just called Resto here and today I'm back with another Minecraft video. And in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you guys can build yourself this super simple 1.17 Minecraft Bedrock Iron Farm. And as you guys can see, this is super tiny and requires almost no resources and gives you a whole bunch of iron in no time. So yeah, this is a beginner iron farm. So if you guys are looking for an iron farm which you guys can build in the first couple days of starting a new survival world, this is a perfect one for you. So if you guys were able to find a village, you guys should be able to build this quite easily. And guys, full credit goes to Mr. Mr. Doggo for putting this farm together. And guys, this farm works on the latest edition of 1.17 for Minecraft Bedrock, and this works on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms, including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 editions, and it will also work if you guys are playing on mobile, tablet, iPhone, or any other devices like that. And guys, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go to the spot where you guys want to build your iron farm, and you guys are going to want to make sure that this spot over here is a minimum of 150 blocks away from any village or villager in all directions. So guys, Guys, I recommend you guys build this farm on a small island like that but if you guys can't find any you guys can go to the edge of a big island like this and build it here as this has less chance of the iron golem spawning on the edges and wandering off. So what you guys are going to want to do is just come down here and then place in a line of 10 blocks and guys you can use any solid blocks of your choice and once you're done you guys are going to want to choose which direction you want the iron golems to fall down into so for me the iron golems are going to fall down into here so you guys are going to want to do this on the opposite side so if I want the iron golems to fall on that side I'm I'm going to do the steps on this side of our line so you guys are going to want to place four solid blocks like so add a one block diagonal on both sides and now you can go ahead and then add a layer of glass on top of each one now you guys are going to want to go at a one block diagonal and then place in your workbench and guys i really recommend you guys using fletching tables as they work on all conditions and they're the cheapest one to make and you guys are going to want to stack 20 of them like this and now what you guys are going to want to do is get a minimum of 10 villagers in here so you guys can start off with two villagers and you guys can move them via boat if you guys have water near Nearby, or you can use a railway system to bring them for a nearby village and then you guys can set up a breeder or just breed them inside here and get a minimum of 10 villagers but if you guys want this iron gold farm to work faster you guys can use 20 and guys you guys are going to want to avoid nitwits like this one which are green coats or baby villagers so once you've got your 10 villagers in here what you guys are going to want to do is grab your slab and then place in a roof all the way around so now that you guys are done this should be the villager cabin completed so now what you guys are going to want to do is come to this side of your farm with the glass and then go to any of the corners and then go out by 10 blocks right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on the 10th block, you guys are going to want to place in a solid block like so. And then go out by 1. And you're going to want to make this 10 blocks long as well. And now that you guys are done, you guys are going to want to place in 10 beds on top of each block. So now that you're done, you guys can break these bottom blocks right here. And then place in another layer of 10 beds. And guys, you're going to want to make sure that you use 20 beds. And now what you guys are going to want to do is come to the middle area right here and then count five blocks from one side. And as you guys can see, since this is 10 blocks long, there won't be a perfect center. So you guys are just going to want to choose either the left block to be the center or the right block. So for now, I'll choose the left block right here. And then you guys are going to want to count in by four blocks. And since this is the fourth block, you guys are going to want to go out by one more right here. So this should be the center. And if you guys count from here, there should be four as well. So now you guys can dig down right here and then make it a three by three hole. And once you're done, you guys are going to want to make this five blocks deep. And once you're done, your hole should look a little like this. And if you guys did everything correctly, you guys should see iron golems already starting to spawn in. And now what you guys are going to want to do is take a quick look at the center and go to the opposite side of our beds over here and just go a couple blocks away like so and then start digging a hole down. So once you guys are six blocks down, you guys can just continue digging right here until you reach our hole. So as you guys can see, it should be like this. Now you guys are going to want to break this block up here and this one as well. And now you can place in a double chest like so. And then place in a couple upside down stairs like that. So this is so that we can still access our chest. And now you guys are going to want to make your way inside our hole right here. And then dig out another layer. And now you guys are going to want to place in two hoppers going into the chest. And then place the rest of them funneling in. And once you guys are done, if you guys throw items anywhere, it should go into our chest. So now you guys are going to want to skip this bottom block right here and then place in three signs up here on the wall and then shift and then place in three more and then one more time. So now that you have this entire layer full of signs, you guys are going to want to grab a lava bucket and then place it on the center one. So now the lava should flow right throughout the entire hole. Now for the final step for our killing chamber, you guys are going to want to grab your trap doors and then place them 
all the way across the edge. And now you guys can open. And this will basically help trick the iron golems into falling down into our hole. And now for the final step, we have to kind of lure our iron golems into this hole. So now what you guys are going to want to do is place a couple blocks right here and then a solid block over the center. And then you guys are going to want to go up by three blocks in total, including this one, and then place in a glass block right there. And guys, you have to make sure that this is the glass block. And now you can get rid of all of these. Now you guys are going to want to place in two more temporary blocks. And then you can go ahead and place in some trap door on either side. Now you can get rid of these. And now you guys are going to want to get a zombie onto there. So to do this, what you guys are going to want to do is set up a super simple railway. So you guys can make a staircase going all the way up here and then place some blocks on top so it should look like this. So if you guys were wondering how many blocks I went away from the center, I went eight blocks away from the center block right there. And then I built up diagonally and a couple blocks in and that should be the railway staircase completed. And now you guys can grab some power drills or some normal rails, whatever you have. But I recommend having some power drills in there so you can get off this ledge and place them all the way down here and you guys can power them and then you guys are going to want to place in a solid block right here so that he doesn't move and then you guys are going to want to make sure that you don't place any powered rails or any rails on top here and now you guys are going to want to wait until it becomes night time find yourself a zombie and guys you're going to want to name tag him so that he doesn't spawn and then you're going to want to lure him into our minecart like this and once he's in you guys can give him a nudge and as you guys can see he should end up right there and now you guys are going to want to go ahead and break this block right here and that should drop our zombie right into place and now you guys are going to want to grab a slab place it on top so that he doesn't burn in daylight and now you can get rid of our staircase and yeah that should be it and now for an optional step you you guys can cover up your entrance right here with some trap doors to prevent any iron golems from falling in there by accident and now as you guys can see once an iron golem spawns they'll be drawn into our zombie right here and fall down in and guys you can actually have multiple collection systems so if you guys think that more iron golems are spawning in here you guys can set up another one right here so that you can increase your spawn rate and now to collect your iron all you have to do is go down here into our hole and then if you guys check the chest as you guys can see we already have the iron from the iron gold but yeah that's actually pretty much it it's a super simple tutorial so guys that's actually pretty much it if you guys enjoy straightforward content for both Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as well as help out channel. It also really does mean a lot to me. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next one. Peace.